motion itself is a function of relationship. For example, uh, forgive me if some of you have heard this one before, but it's a very important basic lesson. If there is only one object, one small ball in the middle of endless space, nobody knows whether it's moving. Because you can't tell whether it's approaching anything or whether it's going away from anything. Because there's nothing else. So, in that state of affairs, no motion exists. Because you can't tell whether it's approaching anything or whether it's going away from anything. Because there's nothing else. So, in that state of affairs, no motion exists. I find it a little difficult to say what the subject matter of this seminar is going to be because it's too fundamental to give it a title. I'm going to talk about what there is. If you can understand this, you're going to have no further problems. I once asked a group of high school students, what do you mean by a thing? And first of all, they gave me all sorts of synonyms. They said it's an object, which is simply another word for a thing. It doesn't tell you anything about what you mean by a thing. Finally, a very smart girl from Italy, who was in the group, said a thing is a noun. And she was quite right. to this art and uh, how it can be used and so forth. 